Welcome to this week's episode of The Last Best Beer Show. We come to you every week talking about Montana beer and many other things, and we've got an absolute full show for you this evening, and it's going to be fun. We've got a lot of guests in the studio, lots to talk about, so I kind of want to just jump in. Uh, this week, I uh, got to take a little road trip down to Phillipsburg Brewing Company and meet with all those guys and gals that are now putting out uh, two new canned beers. They started with their Tramway Rye IPA. And those wonderful little twist-off caps, uh, twist-off aluminum bottles. We did have Mike Elliott in a few weeks ago, who's the head brewer for Phillipsburg. Uh, But you can now find their River Otter Pale Ale in cans hitting the markets just this week. And I went down there on Monday and shot some videos, shot some photos. So take a look on our Facebook page to uh, see a little behind the scenes at a very impressive canning operation in a very oppressive brewery in beautiful Phillipsburg. They built this location, their second location, on the original site of the original Phillipsburg brewery that was opened back in 1875. So it's kind of a cool historical uh, site there as well. Now, if you got any home brewers out there in your family or friends or loved ones, uh, we've got a lot of competitions coming up this year to enter your own home brews. So again, we'll have some more details on Facebook, but the first one's coming up at the end of the month. So if you've already got something in a bottle or in a keg and you want to enter a competition, there's one happening. Uh, I believe it's about February 28th at the Imagination Brewing Company there on West Broadway in partnership with Summer Sun Garden and Brew. And then later after that, there's one up in Great Falls. Mighty Mo Brewing Company is doing their competition again. The winner of that will get to brew their beer commercially uh, through Mighty Mo. And then in June, back in Missoula, Draftworks is kind of hosting and sponsoring a BJCP, an official uh, officially judged competition. Home brewers can enter their beers, and the winner selected will get their beer brewed by Draftworks at Draftworks and be part of that process. So it's very cool. Lots to do. So if you're ready, get home brewing, get your recipes dialed, and let's make some good beer. So we're going to get ready to jump in uh, to our first segment here. We got a couple of great guests. We have Brad Martins from the Rhino and Grant from Draftworks, and we're going to be talking about a new campaign. There's a new campaign popping up in Montana, and it's brought to you by the Montana Brewers Association, the Montana Restaurant Association, and the Montana Taverns Association. So they've teamed up with a new campaign called Buy Local Beer. So this week I've got in the studio, like I said, Brad Martins from the Rhino, co-owner of the Rhino, and I've got Jeff Grant from Draftworks, and uh, both you guys are participating in this, and welcome to the show. Thanks. Thank you. So there is three forces behind this campaign that really covers the gamut the from people who make beer to those who sell it. And uh, it's kind of a nice to see this collaborative effort to uh, to promote local beer. And I don't know, what, what kind of gets you excited about the fact that this campaign is running in Montana? Either one of you. You know, I think uh, what's really exciting for us is, you know, it's easy to kind of focus on some of the differences amongst these groups and you know, I've been saying we have a uh, hundred similarities with the tavern and restaurant owners and and very few differences in this campaign. It's nice for us to focus on one of those similarities and come together and just celebrate a uh, Montana made product that we all benefit from. Right, right. So do you see, uh, Brad, now that you're selling all kinds of beer, you're selling mo- a lot of Montana beer, but you're regional beer international beer as well uh do you see a lot of people that come in and ask specifically for a montana beer oh yeah yeah Yeah. i mean uh that's one thing about missoula they're pretty uh they're pretty um local brand orientated i should say um Mm -hmm. so they'll they'll look for uh something they like that's that's uh you know homegrown um and you know then other people are, you know, they'll, they're always looking for something new and different, which, you know, that's that's what I try and like to do. Mm-hmm. Do you have, uh, you're also involved in uh, somewhat of the official or political sides of, of these organizations, and there is a coalition that's out there. So some of the people that might have been following uh, the legislature and all these different rules, but 
do you, can you give us any insight into what you see if you go over to Helena and talk with all of these organizations and how cohesive it is? Well, this uh, first of all, this campaign, uh, I agree with with uh, Jeff. This is a wonderful campaign. It's mm-hmm. it's bringing uh, um, a lot of people together. Um, and keep in mind that you know this is this is this benefits Montana. Um, you know the brewers, the restaurants, and the tavern owners. So um, we're excited about it as well. And to uh, finally get you know on some common ground with everybody, um, no, it's, we're all excited about it. Uh, the the program. Um, I was just in Helena, and everybody's excited about the program. Mm-hmm. Um, certainly, we've got uh, uh, we've started working with with uh, all these groups again to try and get some legislature passed. Um, you know, in, at the less, next legislative session. Um, but I think this this um, promotes a, an atmosphere that's that's. Uh, or camaraderie that that uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna help this industry, um, and it's it's important for us to all get along because this this industry is 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 gonna drive people to Montana. They're that's it's they're gonna like it. They they come here for this. I mean, it's almost part of their vacation. Where they go and what their route is is often by going to their you know some bar they've heard about or some brewery that they've heard about. And this is what what is cool, and I've seen it. There, most of the beer, if you're if maybe not by volume, but as far as what gets produced by all the different Montana breweries, most of that gets consumed in the state. You know, there are some that get outside the state, but if you really want to have the Montana beer experience, you got to come to Montana and you got to see that. Yeah, this I mean, it's a, it's a win win. I mean, you, you get to try, you know, local product, local beers. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, local food from your restaurants. It comes from farmers, um, and that you get to enjoy all this, in, you know, in the comfort of the the state of Montana. So I mean, it's it's a it's a win win. The visual with this campaign is a, a nice large sticker. Uh, you'll see it. I saw it in Phillipsburg this uh, this week when I was there. But it says "Buy local beer," um, and it's very easy to see. And it's my understanding that. Pretty much everyone who makes or sells beer has access to this, uh, or to parti- or is invited to participate in this campaign. Is that's, right? that's that's true. I mean, the, the uh, there's the, the they're probably going to make some more stickers to promote this uh, mm-hmm. this campaign. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've they've been going you know out the door pretty quick. Um, so if if you don't have them now, um, just just ask, and uh, certainly uh, any one of us you know can can get. Get your stickers. Excellent. Good. Um, Jeff, I'll bring you back in here to talk again about this idea of of local. And it's it's not to be cliche at all, but it, there really is something about using local ingredients to, you know, having a local localized workforce to give a product, that make a product for your local audience. I mean, that, is that really... You guys have a great neighborhood location, so it's easy to identify with that feeling of local with you guys. But you're really making that beer for your neighbors. Yeah, you know? and you know, you know, one thing, a little buzzword I've been using recently is local in Missoula or local in Montana. Has it's really, I think, more properly defined as hyper local, mm. and and that's mm-hmm. something that is. I think is awesome and one of the draws for me to start a business in Montana. And I think Montanans truly take pride in their local products. And, you know, it's great. It's full circle. It's, you know, uh, taverns like the Rhino, producers like Draftworks. Um, we employ Missoulians and the Missoulians or neighbors all get to consume the art science that we make. And I think it's a, uh, that whole local camaraderie community feel is is one of the single biggest draws to why I love the industry that um, we all participate in. Yeah, when I travel, speaking of buzzwords, I like to I like to say drink local first. Like that's where I want to go and start with wherever I'm at and understand what's what's the hyper local food or experience that we can have. And, and then I'll grow from there and try those other things. But yeah, we got to drink local. Um, so we can get those stickers. Uh, definitely want to encourage anybody who's out there at their favorite watering hole, their favorite bar, their favorite restaurant to, to look for these stickers. Um, I don't know. Where, what would you add to any of the listeners out there that are ready to, ready to dive in and commit to local products? 
Well, I, th- I think I think, like Jeff said, I, the the community involvement with with uh, um, local breweries and and local taverns and and local restaurants. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I think it's it's going to grow. It's uh, especially with this campaign. I think uh, it's make, making people aware that that we're not at odds with each other. Um, and I think in the past they've they've kind of um, taken sides, whether you know whether it's been you know the 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 restaurants or the tavern owners or the breweries. You know they, these guys. You know they're not they're not getting along, and and so they're they're dividing the the the, the consumption. Where I mean, yeah. this I believe was is just saying, you know, hey, we're we're in this all together, mm-hmm. and uh, we want to make this this a viable industry. It's it's uh, it's going to bring people um, to your community, um, and all these people, like like Jeff stated, I mean, whether they work in a in a restaurant or a, a brewery or a tavern, um, they're going to share. You're going to see them, you know, at the brewery. You're going to mm-hmm. see them at a restaurant. You're going to see them at a, at a bar. Um, so, and consuming uh, uh, Montana-made products, local products. Yep. Jumping back on the positive side of this whole campaign, the positive approach. Jeff, you said it. We've got more commonalities than we do have differences. Um, and I always appreciate that that positive, proactive there. Uh, and I would I would just add, like for the listeners out there, the people like myself who like to go out and buy buy a good beer, uh, just say thanks too. Like thank them for making the beer or selling the beer or featuring montana beer because we we all choose to live here for one reason or another right so yeah and i think that's one you know one tier that often gets left out of all of these conversation and and that is the consumers and mm-hmm. i know brad and i would both thank all of the hyper local supporters and local supporters of uh what we do and you know the consumer is is very important and and the way that they've gotten on board with their Montana made products is what make both of our businesses work. Excellent. Great. Awesome. Well, look for that out there. It's the Buy Local campaign uh, brought to you by uh, three different organizations, but really brought to you by all of the bars and restaurants and the breweries that are out there in Montana. And uh, it's a great campaign, and we'll continue to follow it. So stick around. We've got a short commercial break uh, to hear from our sponsors, and we'll be back with a whole lot more. The Last Best Beer Show on News Talk KGVO. Love craft beer and want to learn how to brew your own? Take this online course to get insider tips from Montana brewers and top secret recipes for local favorites. Welcome back to the Last Best Beer Show. Now, normally we take this time to look at the national beer scene, but as I said earlier in the show, we've got a lot to talk about, a lot of cool events. And in the studio right now, I've got three guests with me. I'm welcoming back Jeff Grant from DraftWorks, co-owner, and Bill Matthews, who's the chief development officer of the Montana Food Bank, and Mike, a.k.a. Big Mike from Big Mike's Barbecue. Um, All three of these great guys are going to be at an event called The Take. And it's a benefit put together by the Montana Food Bank on March 4th. Welcome, everybody, to the show. All right. Thanks for having us. Uh, Bill, we'll start with you here. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about what the Taste event is? Right. Well, this is a brand new fundraising event for the Montana Food Bank Network uh, that we created. Um, That's going to be March 4th, um, which is a Friday, out at Neptune Aviation at the airport Mm -hmm. in an airplane hangar, which is kind of unique. Very much Uh, But it'll be a really, really great event. So the idea of this event is we're bringing great foods together, uh, breweries, wineries, distilleries, all in one place. And the idea is you come into that you pay a ticket price for this event. It's $45 for the event. And you go around and get different tastes of foods and drink for the night. Beautiful. Uh, so it's really a, really going to be a fun. We have music. We have silent auction, raffle. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I'm looking at this, and I see live music uh, from John Floridus Trio. Uh, definitely like Floridus. And yeah. uh, lots of uh, – so we have raffle and silent auction prizes, you know, ways to generate money Absolutely. for the Montana Food Bank. Now, you brought yeah. in two friends here with you, uh, food side and beard side. Uh, yeah. let's start, let's start with the food side. Let's go, uh, big Mike, Mike, how are you? I'm good. Doing good. Um, so what drew you into the, well, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about barbecue first. Cause I'm seeing your t-shirt and I just had barbecue yesterday. I haven't tried yours yet and I'm, and I will cause I'll be at the taste. Um, but tell us a little bit about big Mike's barbecue. 
Um, we're brand new. Uh, the only event that we've done so far was also with the Montana Food Bank Network last year. Okay. Um, so this will be actually our kickoff for 2016. Uh, just got um, into smoking barbecue a few years ago. Decided to open the trailer and share it with everybody. Awesome. Love everything meat. And yes. <laughs> Kindred spirits here. <laughs> so you have a mobile mobile barbecue? Yes, a mobile you know? trailer. A mobile uh, trailer. 20-foot trailer. Okay. Uh, it's a big, bright red trailer. You won't be able to miss it once it's out and about. Yep. And <laughs> you're available it. for events such events, as this? Events, catering. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, vending out at certain places at times, and you'll be able to follow us on Facebook and website to find mm-hmm. out where we'll be. And Great. And you said this is the second time that you've partnered with the Montana Food Bank. I mean, what is the what's the draw there? Like, what is it that you appreciate that they're doing, and why you wanted to get involved in this taste event? Um, you know, I, luckily I uh, have family members that know Bill, so he uh, that helped me get involved. Yeah. Um, just a great you know great organization doing mm-hmm. good things for the state, and I'm from Montana, so I love to give back to the state as much as possible. Excellent. Um, and you know, like you said, great a great organization doing great things. What, uh, if you have your menu planned at all, what can some listeners expect to, when they come to the, ev- to the event on March 4th, uh, what can they try from Big Mike's Barbecue? Uh, we're going to be doing three things. We're going to have uh, pulled pork sliders with Big Mike's Barbecue sauce, and then we're going to do, uh, it's called a Montana Fatty, which is just um, pork wrapped in pork wrapped in bacon. <laughs> <laughs> you hit all and the then, food uh, groups there. <laughs> to, uh, to pair with some of the wines at the event, too, we're going to do a smoked brie with uh, fig preserves and pecans. Excellent, excellent. Oh man, I'm ready, I'm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So uh, to pair with barbecue, let's bring in Jeff from uh, co-owner of DraftWorks. Jeff, welcome to the show. Yeah, back good to be back. Show. Yes, uh, and, uh, okay, bar- what goes through your mind? We've got barbecue out there, pulled pork sliders. What, what, uh, what DraftWorks beer can we have with that? You know, I think uh, we're gonna have our um, IPA and cream, I believe, out there. Uh, you know, and definitely I think some darker beers would pour nicely with those. Um, you know, the hoppy character, if there's anything spicy in the barbecue, will really do well with uh, the spicy characteristics and and not be completely overpowered. Excellent. Uh, now, DraftWorks has long since been involved with the community and especially a variety of nonprofits. So for me, I see a natural fit. You're bringing your beer and your brand to the table to support a local nonprofit or, or statewide in this sense. Uh, and that just seems like something that you guys do and do really well. Is that right? Yeah. You know, um, we love to be a part of these, especially with the community. And even though this is a statewide, um, you know, there's a million people in Montana. So it's it's still very, very local. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's getting to be more than a handful of uh, um festivals for beer and so when we looked at this new one you know with it being the food bank it was kind of a no-brainer for us right away we've done several different things with the local missoula food bank this will be our Mm -hmm. first uh, event with the statewide group um but yeah i mean it's the we're all about the community and and you know both the Missoula and the Montana Food Bank just fit perfectly in what we like to support. Absolutely. And uh, I've worked with you for the one of our events for Missoula Craft Beer Week, which is the mini golf event, and uh, which benefits the Missoula Food Bank. We raise money for it as well. Uh, Bill, why don't you come back in here and uh, so tell people exactly where they can get tickets and yeah. Well, yeah. So uh, you can go to our website, which is mfbnevents.org. And you can go right on that site. Um, you can buy tickets there if, if you're interested in volunteering for the event. We still need volunteers, so you can do that also. But that, that website has all the information about the event from start to finish, so it's really well set up. Um, yeah, so that's ready to go. Great. And I'm seeing, uh, in addition to DraftWorks and in addition to Big Mike Barbecue, Big Mike's Barbecue, excuse me, I mean, a lot of local breweries, as you said, wineries, distilleries, and Bravo Catering, uh, good food stores behind this. Got quite a few. Yeah, there's a lot of great vendors. You know, our goal for the event was to have 30 vend- vendors total. We wanted okay. to get 10 foods, 10, wi- 10 wines, distilleries combination, mm-hmm. then 10 breweries. We actually have 11 breweries. We have three distilleries. <laughs> we have five wines. And then we have 10 foods. So we're doing really well. So Really um, well. We just about reached our goal there. And 
Uh, so there's going to be plenty of food and drink for everybody involved that that shows up that night. Yep. Um, and I just want to take a chance to you know thanks thank Jeff and Big Mike for being vendors. You know our vendors have really stepped up to be a part of this thing, and they're donating their their foods and their drinks for the night. So it's just awesome. Without a doubt. Again, tickets are only $45. The event is March 4th. It's a Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. at Neptune Aviation. Uh, you'll also find a link to those tickets on the Last Best Beer uh, Facebook page. So, again, fellas, thank you so much for spending some time with us today and talking about this great event. All right. Thank you. Thanks for joining us this week on the Last Best Beer Show. It's an absolute pleasure to come to you and bring this awesome show uh, with incredible people. And we're all talking about something that we really enjoy, which is craft beer, more specifically, Montana craft beer. So uh, we had our business and brews this week already for February, and it uh, will happen again. So I want you to save the date. Looking forward to Wednesday, March 23rd. So March 23rd, we're going to have our next business and brews with our partner. Partners, Warden's Market in Delhi, and the location is going to be outstanding. It is going to be downstairs in the grotto, which is beneath the old post. We will have lots more details to share with that. It'll be a really incredible program. We're looking forward to bringing you. Uh, but again, March 23rd, and we will be back down there. So again, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you know of any cool beers that we should be talking about, get a hold of us. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Uh, find us there and then tune in every week on News Talk KGVO 101.5 FM and 1290 AM. Until next week, Missoula, I say cheers. Love craft beer and want to learn how to brew your own? Take this online course to get insider tips from Montana brewers and top secret recipes for local favorites.